Good morning, High Point. I hope you've had a wonderful week, a uh, wonderful day so far. Um, I'm here today, this morning, to just share a little bit about uh, some scripture that I've been in that's spoken to me over the past week or so, and, and just want to pass that along uh, to each of you as, as well. As I've struggled over the last couple of weeks with, with my own thoughts of uh, just anger, doubt, frustration, worry, uh, there's a lot of us that I think are, are in that same boat. Um, and, and I've I've been reading through the the Psalms, and, and they've given me uh, some comfort and some some security, and, and a place to to kind of rest my my heart during this time. And, and I just want to be able to pass it along to you. So today we're going to look at Psalm sixty one uh, verses just one and two, uh, real short. But there's a lot in there for us, I think. And so I just want to start and, and read this for you. Hear my cry, O God, listen to my prayer. From the end of the earth I call to you when my heart is faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the enemy. First and foremost, we see here that, that David's obviously in a, in a difficult place in life. And he says, hear my cry, O God, listen to my prayer. The, the kind of correlation of cry and prayer. That it's okay to cry out. It's okay to have that frustration and want to yell and want to cry. We need to make sure that first and foremost, our cries go up. That we cry to Him. That we, we take our frustration, we take our worry, we take all of that to God. And then we see, He says, From the ends of the earth, I call to you and my heart is faint. Now a lot of Commentaries state that, that David probably wrote this when he was fleeing King Saul while King Saul was trying to kill him. So this is while he's in the wilderness hiding. So end of the earth is really just a figure of speech for for this place that he's in, just that he's never known before. That he's in complete uncertainty, complete in a situation that's just foreign to him, so uncomfortable that he's been pushed to a place that he's never been before. So he's got external, an external crisis, and that's leading to internal chaos. From the end of the earth, I call to you, and my heart is faint. So we have the, the external chaos, our external crisis, leading to internal chaos. How often does the things going on in our lives cause us that stress? It causes us to worry, to doubt, to, to move us to, to frustration. And what do we do with that stress? Does that stress lead us to the pantry or to the fridge? Does it lead you to a drink? Does it lead you to a screen? All of those ways to, to not think about uh, what you're going through, what your stress is, all of those ways to distract you, all of those ways to, to numb yourself to the stress that is going on. The thing is that, that all of those outlets for stress diminish us. They don't elevate us. And David shows us here that we should ask for elevation because he says, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. See, again, he's in the wilderness. The wilderness was full of mountains and, and high rocks. And so for him, he's thinking about getting to higher ground. Now, why do we go to higher ground when we're, we're out somewhere? A, it provides security. That we, it's just harder to get to us the higher up we are. And then the second is that it provides vision for us that we don't have. That we can see our, our enemies coming. We can see the landscape of, of where we are better than where we being lower. So what is, is, is David asking here? He's asking for God to elevate him to a place of security and of perspective. 
He's asking him, I need you to take care of me. I need you to allow me to see the things that I can't see on my own. I need you to elevate me to a place that is beyond my strength. He, he's asking to elevate to refuge beyond where he can go on his own. So for us to, to pray in such a manner, before we, we leave today, uh, that's how we should pray. We should pray for security and, and for perspective and vision beyond what we can do on our own. Not to choose to, to deal with the stress of life with things that diminishes, diminishes us, but with things that elevate us. So today, I, I just uh, encourage you to pray in that manner. To say, say, God, I, I, I need you. I need your security. I need your comfort. And I need vision to see the things I can't see on my own. And I find my refuge in the one thing that can elevate me to that place. That's my prayer for you all today. That's how I hope you pray that you find in those situations of stress, doubt, and worry. When the external crisis is leading to internal chaos, that you would choose to elevate and find refuge in the only thing and the only one that can elevate you to a place of security and perspective. Thank you all so much. We miss you. We love you. Hope you have a wonderful weekend and see you all soon. Bye.